What is up guys, Shy Games here and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. We are going to figure out why we cannot go through the fog and we are going to figure out how to get through it. Hey, a new face. Welcome to Lydia Island. Lots of island guys are off fishing, but you'll still find many of us working here. Have you seen the northern scene lately? The awful fog and the ghost ship's scary. It's better not to think about the northwestern sea or you'll get the shivers. Okay. Well... Tried sailing through the foggy passenger, the North Sea, tried and failed. I found myself sailing back, same point, so I abandoned my voyage. Alright. So let's try hut number one. No one here, so... Oh. Have you entered the foggy passengers in the north? Yes. No matter what you do, it seems like there's no way to get through the fog, right? Every time you brave that cur a cursed fog, you'll be sent back to your original spot. But the R Romanos, who lives on the village edge, had a father who got through it. No one dares try to figure it out, but not since the ghost ship was seen in the fog. Oh, another special delivery. Astrid. Ahem. Good tidings to you, Link. Thank you for your recent help. Try to, as I might, to express my gratitude in words I cannot do with justice. Is there anything I can do in return? Please stop by the Isle of Ember. I know that someone of my modest means might have little to offer, but I believe that I can at least show you the way should the way should you become lost. Sincerely, Astrid. Okay. There's a chest. Rudal crown. The Zoras have passed it down across generations. I don't know if I should be taking that out of someone's home. I'll just look at the stone tablet. The guy who lives nearby Romanos had a father who scattered these here. They left us a testament his trip to Island of Gust, but they're big nuisance. The Fog North Sea, where I spied my the first island, would have placed. How can I name anything but the Isle of Gust? Okay. What's that thing? Once a Sure. There's a tiny isle in the middle of the three boulders south of this lot. Make a note of what I just said. Okay. Oh, it's a shop. What? You want to sail the island up the northern sea? My husband called the place Isle of Gus. He used to talk about how he visited that island. My husband was once a come to be a fisherman until he left this place. He saw uncharted islands, at least that's what he said when he finally left. <sighs> he refused to work instead, ruining his boat by the braving northern fog repeatedly. Last time we saw him was over a year ago. We saw Romanos at the home right now. Might know a little bit more. But the boy hasn't worked in a long time either. He's peeved about his dad, I think. You might get upset if you mention the island. Need something, kid? What? You want to travel the island? Gus, please don't tell me you're going on your way, too. Ah, uh, if you don't know, forget I asked. You better off staying... Oh. Yes. Oh, really? Do it your way. Go your own way with a bunch of garbage. This endless babbling about living with the luster of adventure. Can you put the food on your table? Can you make your family happy? Going your own way is no way to survive in this life. My way's a lot better. Staying home, eating cheese, that's the life. Yeah, the Isle of Gus, don't say another word about it. Figure it out yourself and get out of here. Hey, wait, Kate, come back. Sorry. 
Sorry to unload on that on you, kid. It's just that my dad used to say lots of things about going his own way to explore. And I got fed up with him. My dad used to talk about getting through the fog of the, seeing the island of Gust. He said specific about something about a specific routine for getting through the foggy passage, but you only know which way to go. There's a cave behind our house where my dad used to escape all the time. He called it his hideaway. You might find more details in there. But it's dangerous in there, so take care of yourself, kid. Thank you. Alright, let's... Young man! You mustn't go in that cave. Dangerous monsters have been there. I thought she was going to yell at me about her garden for a second. Now be a good boy. Don't go anywhere near it. Oh, what? What if my... Well, if my son has said it's alright, then go in there. There's no stopping you there. But please don't do anything too dangerous. I am Link. I'm always going to do something dangerous. Alright, let's head in the cave. sword and shield, so I'm fine. I'm gonna be careful. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. How the frick am I supposed to? Oh, I see now. God, dodge. Oh. Come on. Come on. All righty. Come on. Ha ha. Perfect. Any of you all have a heart? Thank you. My journal. I'm writing this while in the private space I call my hideaway. When I'm here, I find myself utterly at peace, and it'll stay that way as long as I know that no one will interrupt me. Now I do have one more hideaway, and no one will ever find the entrance. Some to the spot where the lines draw between my stone tablets and intersect. It's brilliant. What do I say to myself? Oh. Okay, if I ever remember that when getting out of here. Got the shovel. But I haven't seen any clues about how to get through the foggy passage. No, I haven't either. Maybe it's is that a specific 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 area. Items. Yes. Got a big oh my god yes mm. love that oh wait hang on I am not done Turn it down. 
Oh, this is another shortcut back. Okay. Wayfarer's words number three, but the Isle of Gus was the only main islands beyond the fog passage. I'll see them all. It's my life stream. if it's the one So what I'm gonna do, maybe it's like, you know, X marks the spot. So what I'm gonna do is mark where all the... are and see maybe if that's anything to do with maybe I sh get over here first So I'll do that real quick as I'm on that menu. Okay, let's see. Beautiful. Love that. Very tricky, but it's also very clever. If you're reading these words, you have found my true hideaway, which means you also have developed a desire to find your own way in life. And I'm truly sorry for putting you and your mother through so much. I'm well aware that I'm the world's worst father leaving you behind. There's so much about the ways of the world I just don't understand. Such as the way the ghost ship appears and steals people. Where do its victims go? I've decided to dedicate my life to finding out the answers. If I fail to return, please take care of your mother and please forgive me. In closing, one more thing. Embrace your wayfair ways, my son. A treasure map.
To my son. Here's the only way to sail through the foggy passage. Perfect. There's a strange sun emblem on that door, Link. I wonder if we can open it. Hmm, it didn't work, it's not opening, but there's something about the this crest that tickles my memory. Hey, why don't we draw this and blend on your map so we remember later on. Yes. That's the only way I'm going to remember what it is. Okay. Oops. Is there anything we could say to this guy? Huh? You found my dad's hideaway and defeated the monsters in there? Hmm, let's see. You inspired me, kid. What drove my dad to go his own way like you? I may just join him and find out. Thanks, kid. No problem, though. I see you found my husband's hideaway. I'm sure he'd be irritated if he was, if you're still among us today. Well, I'm sorry, man, but I had to figure this out. You're safe. What? You actually know how to reach the Northern Sea? What was written on the map, was it? Please tell me you wrote it on our chart. So you write it down? Yes. How about we shove off then the fog awaits? Yes. Alright. Oh, what's right here? off but we're gonna go here first because there's apparently treasure there was treasure right here but hmm Fine, we'll go towards Northern Sea. And we're off. All right. Take that route. Again, enjoying this music. Park turn port. Hmm. 
Make sure we don't run into those explosive barrels. We made it! Okay, the end of the line. Where's next, Navigator? We are definitely heading now to the Isle of Gust, finally. Look at all that fog. Hey, through the fog cloak. Yeah. Sun again. Finally! Okay. Woohoo! We finally made it on the aisle! But this is sure one gusty aisle. Yep, surely this has to be the Isle of Gust. So, you little green parrot, how about you go fly off in the search of our next spirit? Trying to freaking slice through this one, trying to do. Beware of great winds. I could easily jump that. Come on. Okay, but before we continue. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Ruby. Before we continue any further, I'm gonna head back down. We are gonna stop there for today. That was a crazy adventure. Glad we were able to get past that nasty fog. I'm gonna keep that on my map in case we need to come back like that again. So I'm not gonna get rid of it. So um yeah, we will continue in the island against the next episode. And if you want to see that, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.